Yeah, thank you very much. It's nice to see everybody, and those drums mean only one thing to us. One of the great musicians of all time, the great Buddy Rich, everybody. Yeah. Great thank here, you. Big guy. This is right down there. Hey, buddy. Hey, Rich. How you doing? All right. Thank, Thank you. you very much for joining us. Oh, it's fun to be here with you. Oh, yeah. Thank We've you. got the drums right here in I a little that. while. You sounded real good coming out here. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Beautiful. You're looking fine. I you, feel great. You're on some kind of a diet now, aren't you? It's not really a diet. I'm doing that fit for life thing where I just eat uh, fruit, yeah. salads, pasta, which I love. Yeah. And I lost seven pounds in one week. It's very, very big. We had them it's on the great. show, the Diamonds, husband oh, yes. and wife yes. team. I've seen them all with Merv, and Merv has gone on the diet too. And he got fat. <laughs> Well, he'll do that on anything, anything you know. right. But you eat that fruit every morning and you're not hungry during the day? No, because if I get hungry, I have another piece of fruit. It's marvelous. <laughs> That's the truth. Yeah. I got up this morning, I had a grapefruit, a whole grapefruit. Mm -hmm. And I had an apple a little while ago, and I'll have a salad when I leave here, and I'll go to work tonight. Now, that's terrific. Yeah. And speaking of work, you really do love your work. I love it. I mean, love it. You've been 60 years, buddy? Oh, yeah. 60 years oh, yeah. in the business, uh -huh. sure. beating those drums? And oh, a little more, people. about 64 years. Is that right? Playing, yeah. God, you must have started when you were. Well, I started when I was two with my family in Vaudeville. Really? Yeah, really. Were you a musician then? Or? I played drums. You played drums yeah. as a two-year-old? Next time I do this thing with you, I'll bring some things over to show you what happened in 19, uh, 19, 1920, 1921. My gosh. I made my first world tour in 1922. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now you're going on tour again. As a matter of fact, this is uh, something new. You're going to uh, Russia. I'm going to Russia in September with Mr. Sinatra. Frank. Mm -hmm. Now, Frank called and said, what did he say? He called up and said, Buddo, we're going to <laughs> Russia in September. No, can you get the band no, together? Nothing what are like you that. doing? What are you doing? No, he's, we're, we're going. We're going. Ella Fitzgerald, Frank, and my band. Oh, the Russians are in for I it. I think huh? it's going to be great. Wow. It's a great tour. I yeah. wonder if they have ever heard anything like that. Jazz is very big in Russia. It's an underground art, and uh, from the people that, who have been there, mm -hmm. Benny Goodman was there, and Woody Herman was there, and they tell me that it's, the people are just marvelous. Wow. And if you saw the uh, Horowitz show. Oh, I was just going to bring that up. That yes. was the greatest thing I've ever seen Wasn't in my life. Wasn't that The man's something? 81 or 82 years old. Yeah. He was phenomenal. And they I, were on I their cried. feet cheering yes. him like... Yeah. Uh, Isn't it marvelous? Yeah. It's great. You have get you better with age. Have you ever played uh, Russia? Never. This is my first trip. You get better with age? Are you a better drummer now than you were? You I don't know. 20 years I'm, ago? I don't know. I, I think uh, I play well. You know, I, mm -hmm. I have a great band, and yeah. uh, they make me play well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Buddy, I mean, all these things I read about you, are you really that tough? Are you really that hard? <laughs> Do you, I mean, drive that <laughs> band relentlessly? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. You're not a mean guy, though. Huh? Oh, no, I'm not really not mean. I just want uh, perfection. Mm -hmm. And as long as the people in the band uh, play up to their potential, I'm very happy. Yeah. If I feel that somebody is laying down on the job, they hear about it. Uh, like any boss, I think. I read a terrific article <clears throat> in Spin Magazine about you, and it said that, frankly, you've never really been totally satisfied. No, with myself. With really. yourself. No, never. I'm never satisfied with my playing. I finish a job at night, and I know that it could have been better. Really? Yeah, I try very hard, yeah. You don't agonize over that, do you? I mean, I think about it a lot. I think about it because I don't like to make mistakes, and I don't like my people to make mistakes. And mm -hmm. we're uh, we're pretty good. So you are a perfectionist. I think so. And you don't mind the traveling, getting in those buses, and going grinding on to. Well, the next... first of all, I have my own bus, and secondly, you, mean you have your own bus. Yeah. And the band has their. No, no, no. The ba we have a bus for the band. Gotcha. Okay. And when you, uh, if you realize the fact that we travel around the world and we see places that most people can read about. Yeah. And we become part of that kind of uh, civilization. Wherever we play, we assume that identity. Yeah. So that uh, we get paid beautifully, we see all parts of the world, and we play music. Now, That's what's better than that? Can't beat that. You can't can beat you? that, no. And some of these guys, some of the royalty that you played for, they want to sit in with you. Well, uh, in Bangkok several years ago, the King of Thailand played with us. He's How a clarinet player. He's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Never make the band, right? No, no. He <laughs> couldn't make the audition, let alone the job. But, but, but he thought he was great. He thought he was hot. And, and he was the king. The, and you know the great thing about it? We played the palace in uh, Thailand, uh -huh. and he has a complete recording studio in the palace. No kidding. So we invited 500 of the royal family and the various dignitaries, and we did a concert for him, and oh. it was great and marvelous. It was about this size, uh -huh. and everybody sitting on the floor in huge pillows. Yeah. And then he came out and blew the whole thing for us. <laughs> we were great up until he joined us. And where else have you played with something well, like that? We did that a command is... performance for the queen, for the royal family in London. Uh huh. Uh, did one in Cambodia for uh, Sihanouk and his mother. And uh, where else? I think that's it. Oh, oh and, and we did one in Jakarta, in Indonesia. Wow. And we've done four or five of the command performances. That's, They've been great. That's terrific. We've had a great time. So you've had a great life yeah. and a great career. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm lucky.
And then, here I am with you. And here you are with me. What could be sillier? <laughs> now, when you're on the road with Frank, I mean, yeah. two perfectionists, mm -hmm. two kind of high-strung guys mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. wanted to go right. Mm -hmm. What is the secret of you getting along so well with him and him with you, I mean? Because he's a very, very nice man. Mm -hmm. And in spite of the fact that you read whatever it is that people read about him, he's got probably the biggest heart of anybody in the business that I know. And... Uh, He's the greatest single artist on the stage today. As far as I'm concerned, the man is absolute magic. I saw the two of you at uh, Carnegie Hall yes. about 18 months ago, mm -hmm. a couple yeah. of years ago, mm -hmm. and it was a thrill. It's a great show. The band does what it does, and then Frank comes out and just completely mesmerizes oh, the it's, audience. It's it's sensational. He's a marvelous human being, too. Spectacular. Well, now, are you ready for a little drumming lesson? You ready to show you me? You know, how tough can it be? You get these sticks, you beat on a drum, what's the big deal about? It's not. It's the way you sweat that counts. <laughs> Let's go back and take a look now. All right, now. we do that. And look, I've had no formal training, but I've got that natural rhythm. You know I heard I that mean? when you came out here and whacked the cymbals. Well, you could see. Uh, you do that with authority. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a headache. All right, now. <laughs> got to be fast with you, man. That's authority. Go ahead. Okay, all set? I'm ready. First of all, wait, wait, wait. You're holding the sticks wrong. Am I? Yes. Already, huh? See? In here. No, I'll do it. Okay. There you go. Like that. Now, and this one is the same way? Oh, I got Work on it. Really, buddy, like that. That's huh? it, man. Are you sure? Uh, I, <laughs> I read it someplace. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know if it works. The man is amazing. Are you getting excited? I tell me the me. truth. Building up in intensity. Hey, buddy! I have to leave. I have Come on. I have to leave. Well, hang around. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's it. You don't have me. Okay, sit in there, Mr. Rich. Show me what you got. I don't got too much. <laughs> How'd you do that? <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> then you go from here like this. Nice, I like that, yeah. You want these? I want the symbols in there, too. Get into it now. Okay, here you go. All right, let's go. I want you to have a great tour in Europe. A buddy's going to be for the big Statue of Liberty celebration right. here in New York City on July, July 3rd. 3rd. Right. Terrific. I have a Thank great cross-country tour, too, okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Buddy Richard. Thank you, everybody. Let me